Alright, hey guys, Warhawk and Ranger here from Shadow Regime Airsoft. Today we're going to have a big unboxing for you. We bought from Evike, TMC, and Pro Vantage, so we're going to have a lot on the table. We'll start with this small box here. Bought this from Pro Vantage. It was about 70, 80 bucks. The team was getting some comms, so we made a big group order. It's a lot cheaper with shipping. Save money. Yep, save money. That's the best part. So first, we have a lot of paper. You see what's in this? In here, we have a lot of headsets. They're the CIA type. Wrap around with the little curly acoustic tube. We got three sets of those. Uh, so yeah, it covered like six of our team right there. Next, we'll move on to this one from Evike Rangers. There you go. Alright, we got some Elite Force Point to Fight BBs, some shipping info, and how airsoft, whatever. Always gotta get the field guys. Here we got a 96 4000 milliamp battery. Paper. And of course, hey, the KDOA KM16 VR. Yes, there will be a review on this. Uh, good. So, next we'll move on to the big order. A bunch of people from the team ordered together to get this box. Oh. I myself ordered it, and with coupon codes and shipping, we saved $148, which is a big stretch. First we got paper. Always gotta have paper. And then we'll move on. This is from TMC. It's a jumpable plate carrier. Commonly known as the JPC. Cry Precision makes them. There's been a lot of uh, knockoffs, a lot of clones. This was a very high quality one, so I decided to buy it. Best part about it is it's lightweight. Next we have the Condor. Generation 2 Battle Belt. I also bought this. These seem to always be out of stock, but since the Generation 2 just came in, I thought why not buy one? Let's figure out what's in here. Cut that open. They also have the Condor M9 Beretta holster. Not drop leg. I'm gonna put this on the battle belt because I don't like stuff dangling around on my legs when I'm running. Yep. Uh, in here, we have mini what to large type Tamiya connector. That was for a ranger. We have a standard foregrip, a vertical foregrip. King Arms made that. Uh, we have a pistol lanyard I got for my M9. Don't want to drop your pistol and lose that. And then we have 9.6 crane stock type battery for the gun that's going to be at the bottom of this box. Uh, over here, we have Mitch 2000 helmet. About 40 bucks. For 40 bucks, it's pretty impressive. Which is that? I got this for myself. Okay. Always need to get a helmet. Decided why not. Next here we have the Condor triple kangaroo style M4 mag pouch, not double stack. I decided to go single stack because the plate carrier actually has uh, internal mag pouches on the front. 
Judd. Of course, you have to have your papers and field always, guide. Always get a paper and field guide. Everyone will be lost without those. But we have a radio pouch for those small standard talk about radios. Got that. Uh, very large, super high cap for Reaper. Got that for him for a scar. And a regular high cap. Regular JG high cap. That is for Marauder, who just made his first order. More papers. Yes, always more papers. A double stack kangaroo pouch I got for the battle belt, because I have a lot of mags. <laughs> we have the iron face mask over here, the mesh ones. The team really likes these. I'm pretty sure this is Rabbit's. He ordered this because he's been wearing balaclava and helmet, and this is a great combo with revisions. Very slim. Yes, very slim fit. Cut that one open. I'll work on this one. Oh, yes. This is my order since my Echo one shoots very hard. 0.3 babies. Always need those. Very expensive. And here's some 0.25s. 0.25s, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is another thing of 0.25s for Rabbit. Yep. Got some for Rabbit. And these are for Reaper. And then here is the main part of this box. Anyway. This is the GNG Raider 16. This was Marauder's first purchase. He's pretty excited to get this. He's probably going to kill me for opening it before him. But we'll start opening this up. It was only $150, and G&G's got exceptional quality of their guns. Badges. Here's the gun. Very nice. Very light. Yeah, it is light. This mag's light, too. Has a rail. Nice normal high cap G&G mag. I do like their high caps a lot. These actually look like some pretty good babies. G&G never sends crap. You could probably expect a review from Marauder about this gun. Yes. Maybe after he's used it for a couple games. We will make him make a review. Uh, well, that pretty much wraps up the end of this unboxing. As you can see, we got a lot of stuff. But ordering as a team or ordering in a group is always a good idea because you save a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, hope to see you guys next time. Probably going to have some loadout reviews for the rest of the team. Some gun reviews for Ranger and Marauder. Yeah. And uh, even some gameplay. So, hope to see you next time. See ya.